it from Liam Halligan there. Desperate measures tinkering at the edges. Won't really raise more than a few billion quid with £2.6 trillion in debt. Jeremy Hunt nicks your nom-dom idea. This, is it going to cut the mustard? Yes, I think it is. And, and let, let's put it in context. This is about fiscal credibility. And after the chaos of the Liz Truss regime that we're all still paying for, that really matters to the Labour Party. Yeah, so, yes, they're relatively small sums, but we've made a number of specific uh, public spending commitments that are symbolic of the direction of travel under a Labour government. And we want to show responsibly how we're going to pay for them. So that the first element of paying for them, after Jeremy Hunt, having previously opposed abolishing non-DOM status, took it and said he'd use the money to fund uh, national insurance t cuts. Rachel Reeves has been poring over the Red Book. And so firstly, we're going to end those non-DOM loopholes. So the fact that you can put your overseas income in a trust fund to avoid inheritance tax, that's a scandal. That should be abolished. We'll, we'll close that gap. But more significantly is the Parliament long commitment to close the so-called tax gap. The difference between what HMRC... Um, expect by way of raising in taxation and what it actually receives. Now, that gap actually went down under the last Labour government. I'll be fair, it actually went down under Cameron. Under Sunak, it's gone up, and that's what we're going to be targeting. A lot of that, though, is the billions and billions we spent on lockdowns. That's why we're in this huge economic black hole. I guess the point is... Will it work? Because rich people, smart people, they have clever accountants. They know how to dodge this legally um, or they just leave the country. Have we not learned from history, Bill, that if we tax the richest and we squeeze the pips out, they just <clears throat> go somewhere else in the world and don't come to Britain? We can't passively expect them just to swallow this up, can we? But, but, but look, you know, I, I just said that tax gap was actually reduced under the last Labour government. It was reduced under David Cameron. It's gone up under Rishi Sunak. He's taken his eye off the ball. We're saying we're going to employ uh, 5,000, an investment, 5,000 extra uh, tax compliance officers to chase this income. And interestingly, it's going to be targeted at the highest earners, because if you look at the research, for every pound on tax compliance invested in standard rate taxpayers, the return is about six pounds for top rate taxpayers it's 11 pounds 40 so that's what you should do but i'm not going to overstate this this is not going to generate the huge funds that we need yeah. to reinvest in our public services that's going to come through economic growth through, through a house building program through infrastructure uh, development through green energy and stopping the chaos that we've had which means that businesses don't invest over the last 14 years an army of tax men you know um, knocking on the door twitching curtains of the electorate it's not the sexiest vote winner is it but it's about deterrence. You know, the vast majority of people pay the taxes which are due. And if there's that small minority out there who dodge it, I think most reasonable people would say that they should be chased. And actually, the deterrent effect of having 5,000 more tax compliance officers will shift hearts and minds on that issue. Great. So, Bill Reynolds, pleasure to have you in the studio. Thank Always you. see you down the line, former Labour Minister Bill Reynolds. Cheers, mate. Thank you.